and my colleagues and I would like you to find an artifact of utmost importance. What is it, Marcus? It's the legendary helmet of Kishkumin. Mm. Legend has it that the possessor of the helmet will be invincible and therefore undefeated on the football field, that is. Yes. Welcome to the University of Utah. Never will you find a more wretched <laughs> hive of scum and villainy. The Utes, I hate these guys. Where do you think my father is? Let's try the basement of the library. It's home to a group of eccentric football fans. Their leader is a crazy but brilliant professor with a heavy German accent. Mannheim von Steamroller. You know him. He's my arch nemesis. He used to be sane, but then he studied abroad for a semester in Berlin, and it changed him. He was never able to drop the accent. Mm. Aha! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Junior! It is you, Junior! Oh. Dad, I told you not what? to call me that. But what are you doing here? We came here to rescue you so we could find the helmet of Kishkumen. Junior, I found a map that reveals the exact location of the helmet. It's hidden in a secret vault on top of the Schwicket. Ah. Indy, let me see that map. And don't listen to her. Why not? She's a ute. Indy, please? <laughs> okay. Oh. There you go. I'm really sorry about this. Well, uh... <laughs> again, we meet, Dr. Jones. And again, we see there's nothing you possess that I cannot take away, thanks to my assistant, Fräulein Schneider. How did you know she was a Ute? Well, my suspicions were first aroused when she French kissed me after our first date. Um. How could you? Uh, not a real fan of the ladies, are you, Junior? <laughs> Whoa, Indy? Why is the floor moving? They're insects. The ground is covered with crickets. Oh. Not just any kind of cricket. These are Mormon crickets. I'll never leave you alone. How are we going to get by? I have an idea. I suddenly remembered my Charlemagne. May my armies be the rocks and the trees, and may the seagulls devour the crickets. What a great plan, Dad. Thanks. Indiana. Family, isn't it about time? <laughs> Dr. Jones, okay. Dr. Jones, no time for strength and familial relationships. Right, okay. oh. Oh, look out! Careful, my boy, he's got a giant S word. Dad, it's sword. Sword, put it together. Sword, sword not S. Sorry, sorry. What are you gonna do? Quick, grab the F bomb. Ah. Junior, the F-bomb. What? Don't you see? The F-bomb is mightier than the S-word. It's sword. Yeah. Anyway. Curse you, Mannheim. Let me go. You are not in a position to ask for anything. Now for the last time, where is the helmet? I don't know where it is. Wrong answer. Now you will be a sacrifice to our great mascot, Swoop. That stupid bird? What does he have to do with an Indian tribe anyway? Silence! Let the pagan ritual begin. Huba chaka, huba, huba, huba chaka, huba, huba, shakti vek. Kaima. Hold it right there, Mannheim. Well, here we are on top of the swicket. Let's see, I think I see the vault over there. No, oh, I can't reach it. You must jump, Junior. It's the leap from the swicket. Only those with cougar pride will be able to walk on air. You're crazy. Nobody can make that jump. You've got to believe in yourself, Junior. Imagine, years from now, students can show this clip of us at seminary and tie it into some lame object lesson about faith or something. Well, all right, I'll try. Go. <sighs> ah! Oh. Oh. Ow. I think I fell my car keys, but I'm okay. Oh, ah. I thought I'd lost you, boy. Anyway, we can take the elevator to get up there. Sorry about oh, that. Okay. Yeah. I knew you'd come. You are the chosen one. <laughs> Who are you? I am the kicker from the BYU 1984 championship team. <laughs> we went undefeated that season thanks to the power of the helmet of Kishkumen. Since that time, I have been commanded to guard the helmet until someone worthy would come to claim it and continue BYU's winning tradition. 
But which one is the helmet of Kishkumen? You must choose. <laughs> choose wisely. Not so fast! Uh -oh. uh, Dr. Jones, out of my way! Uh -oh. Out of my way! All right. Choose wisely. The helmet of Kishkumen will bring victory. The helmet of the U, certain defeat. Well, it's this one right here. Hmm. Thank you. Now that I have the helmet, the youth football team will be unstoppable. We will trample all over BYU. The statues will no longer be protected by that mere saran wrap. <laughs> <laughs> he chose poorly. Actually, he chose wisely, but I wanted you to have it. Oh. <laughs> All right.